action prohibited under the covenant, including direct, indirect, and multi, multiple discrimination, unquote. African Guyanese are its daily victims. Thus, we support the opportunity that it affords for truly marginalized Afro communities the world over to be seen and heard. In this vein, we recognize the right of all to come here and to speak their wavering commitment and support of the government of Guyana to this forum and its work towards realizing full respect for the human rights of people of African descent everywhere. The strategy comprises 78 non-governmental organizations and is committed to the pursuit of the goals of the decade. However, the government of Guyana seeks to decimate it by defunding the organization without merit or justification. To rate Guyana's support for this forum and the objectives of the Durban Declaration. We recognize that this forum provides a valuable outlet for the voices of those who would otherwise be invisible and powerless. The and the promotion of greater knowledge and the respect for diverse heritage, culture and contribution of the people of African descent. Unfortunately, the United Nations call has not been heeded by the government of Guyana. This has resulted in the perpetuation of an identity crisis, non-recognition, injustices, and underdevelopment of the people of African descent writ large. This adds up to systemic discrimination. In Guyana, even the courtesy of a meeting with the government to advocate for a plan of action for the decade and the introduction of history of the people of African descent into the school curriculum. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Guyana. Thank you, madam. I, uh, I reiterate Guyana's support for this forum and the objectives of the Durban Declaration. We recognize that this forum provides a valuable outlet for the voices of those who would otherwise be invisible and powerless. Thus, we support the opportunity that it affords for truly marginalized Afro communities the world over to be seen and heard. In this vein, we recognize the right of all to come here and to speak their truth, as eloquently expressed by our Afri African Guyanese sister who spoke yesterday from the esteemed position of chair of the working group of experts on people of African descent. As the government of Guyana, our truth is that we reject entirely as false and baseless the allegations made at this session by representatives of IPAGI. Our truth is that African Guyanese organizations under IPAGI's umbrella complained to us that they were receiving, they were not receiving benefits from the $500 million government provided to IPAGI. Our truth is that we found that the money we provided was substantially consumed by administrative overheads. We therefore opted to provide financing directly to the beneficiary organizations who in turn are free to pay over to IPAGI if they think IPAGI worthy of their confidence. So they will speak their truth and we must speak ours. We expect that the United Nations and its institutions as objective and impartial observers will draw their own conclusions. It is self-evident that institutions of the UN can only be successful if they enjoy the confidence of all legitimate stakeholders, including member states and representatives of civil society. It is thus imperative that those entrusted with mandates from the Secretary General take care lest by their words and actions they impair the confidence that we must all be able to place in institutions of the United Nations. Madam Chair, I regret that my remarks this afternoon were unavoidably dominated by these matters. I would have preferred to focus on our collective objectives as persons of African descent. Despite this, please remain assured of the unwavering commitment and support of the government of Guyana to this forum and its work towards realizing full respect for the human rights of people of African descent everywhere. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank African descent assembly, Guyana. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. The following statement is presented by the International Decade for People of African Descent Assembly Guyana, IPADAGI. IPADAGI comprises 78 non-governmental organizations and is committed to the pursuit of the goals of the decade. However, the government of Guyana seeks to decimate it by defunding the organization without merit or justification. 
In Guyana, the contribution of the people of African descent to its post-emancipation development in particular is either not recognized or is subject to degraded revisionism. We draw attention to this body, to the, con to the concluding observations of the recent Human Rights Committee hearing on Guyana under the ICCPR in 2024, and I quote, the committee remains concerned about the absence of comprehensive anti-discrimination legislation that may extend beyond discrimination in employment, provide full and effective protection against all forms of discrimination prohibited under the covenant, including direct, indirect, and multi, multiple discrimination, unquote. African Guyanese are its daily victim. The Durban Declaration of 2001 and the United Nations Declaration of 2013, respectively, call for the inclusion of history in, of it, in its school curricula, a victim-centered approach to its delivery. Practical measures such as the teaching young people the importance of tolerance and respect and the promotion of greater knowledge and the respect for diverse heritage, culture, and contribution of the people of African descent. Unfortunately, the United Nations call has not been heeded by the government of Guyana. This has resulted in the perpetuation of an identity crisis, non-recognition, injustices, and underdevelopment of the people of African descent writ large. This adds up to systemic discrimination. In Guyana, even the courtesy of a meeting with the government to advocate for a plan of action for the decade and the introduction of history of the people of African descent into the school curricula in particular has been denied. The forum is therefore challenged to call upon the state parties to redress this injustice and Delta 9 family, welcome back to the flight. If you haven't already, take a few seconds and hit that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button and boost this video in the algorithm. Boost this video in the algorithm so that everybody in Guyana and the diaspora could come across this on their timeline and we could get like-minded persons to hear what's going on in this conversation. Because it's been too long. Too long we say, oh, politics is a dirty game, boy. Hey, them politicians don't play fear. What? Why are you never going out with them politicians? Buy this one, the one, the one. No. We know that, look, sometimes, allegedly, things is going on. So when we hear that an organization getting defunded, when we hear that funds somehow is no longer being released to an organization that is there for the betterment of a large group of people in the country and technically the whole country but we're not going to get into that right now because we now got for find for find a way to elevate we thinking and the way how we interacting with one another you know because this is the type of service that they can give we because we now fighting we hire people for do a job aka the government and we the so-called people we arguing with one another so much that they figure out that hey, we could give them anything because look, they ain't paying attention to what's going on right now. God, they ain't busy fighting with one another. They ain't busy trying to do this and do that to one another. So we could give them this halfway politics. Everybody could do whatever they want. Why big people got to run behind other big people for help out families and other big people in the same country? Somebody obviously know that they ain't telling the truth here in this situation. It's impossible. It's frankly impossible. Now, one person claiming that this person thief in the money, the other person claiming that they're releasing the money to the organization called the one who will back a group of people. Yet, when we look at what's going on in the country, we could see that allegedly it's going in a certain direction because a lot of victimization going on right now and any type of person to it ain't got to do with just persons that are so-called heavily melanated because I'm putting myself in no color. You can't colorize me and you can't call me no need, bro, because I'm very tall. I'm way past the knees. So we ain't getting in them type of word games, is, all right? We way beyond them type of word semantics and we are educated people. We's not no fool in Guyana, so don't play no word game and no heighty tighty flighty flighty thing with you. We'll put you in your place quick. Right? Good. Somebody lying here. Somebody taking the people money. And somebody is trying to keep persons 
in a situation that is way below the level at which they should be experiencing this thing we call life. And if any person is standing aside and watching it, and we know the two largest groups in the country and who they are. So if one can stand aside and watch somebody from your side do something to somebody else, what do you think they can do not take the opportunity when they get a chance? When this thing can really stop? When we decide to make a change, when we decide that, hey, all of this racialness that's going on in the country for so many years, it got to stop. Or else, guess what? All of that wealth that is in the country right now, people can keep bleeding it out and we would never find no peace. And the real persons, the real Guyanese that's in the country that should be enjoying the wealth, we will never see it because the powers that be will play both sides to the center. Leave a comment in the comment section. Leave your feedback. Let's have a conversation about this. Let's have a conversation. What do you think? You think the tech in the money? Or you think that is true, allegedly, that the government did defund, allegedly, the organization that would have seen benefit for a lot of heavily melanated people in Guyana? Let's have a conversation in the comment section. One love, and I'll catch you in the next flight. 100% wildcrafted CMOS from nature by natives. Why pay more? Buying shares in Dubai, a company in Dubai, to work on a joint venture with another company to come here to buy the GPL. I am not one of those persons. I am not one of those persons. So they're running down GPL to the point where, this, where the people of this country will get 